Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Raina Ray. My guest is Artistic Director Chris Clark, and we're learning about Cinema St. Louis. Now, when we went to break, that was actually a true story. Yeah, the film Instrument of War was based on a true story. Um, it was a submission. That means it doesn't belong to a studio or in the hands of a distributor. Just the filmmakers are just trying to get it out into the world. Uh, the story is about a man named Claire Klein, uh, who was a prisoner of war in a Lithuanian uh, World War II prison camp, and he was able to borrow little bits of this and that from um, inmates all over the prison camp and a few of the guards to make a working violin. Wow. Because he was a musician. Hence the instrument yes. of war. Yes. That looked like something I'd go to the movies and see on that big screen. Yeah, it's a you know period piece with costumes and special effects and, and everything being just perfect. And it could literally, like you said, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything you would go to the go to the regular quote unquote movies and see it the quality is that good. That's exactly what it looked like. And there are you brought a couple other clips they're going to play while we're sure. talking. You know, you can talk a little bit about that one if you want to. Yeah, that um, is uh, stars uh, actor uh, Bill Pullman. It's called The Ballad of Lefty Brown. Uh, it's a modern day western of sorts where he's an older retired uh, cowboy and he goes out on, on one last ride to to right a wrong that has been done. Ooh, say no more. Suspense. Leave it there for us yes. to go and take a watch. You know, um, where can we see these films? Uh, well, that's part of the point of what we do. Um, some of the bigger ones, um, like our closing night film, is called Darkest Hour. It's a focus features film that is a biopic about uh, Winston Churchill at the beginning. Uh, right after he was elected prime minister is right when World War II breaks out. And he had to make all his important speeches. Sure. So that's a big end of the year uh, film that'll be, they're pushing, you know, for Oscar nominations, one of the big studio films. Mm. Um, everything else, though, is at all different levels from, like, Instrument of War. I don't know that it's been shown anywhere yet. Mm. We may be one of the very first screenings in the world. Uh, the filmmaker's trying to get it out into the world. And others are all in between. You know, they might have, have a European sales agent, or they might be on television in Mexico, or, you know, any number of things like that. But um, the, the point is to come and see them. You know, eventually, years from now or over the next couple, you might be able to find them on Amazon or Netflix or something. But these are what we think are the best films in the world at this very moment, and this is where you can see them on the screen. And what's that one? And this is a very curious film called uh, My Friend Dahmer. It's based on the high school years of Jeffrey Dahmer. I, I thought so, and I'm yes. like, I'm not even going to say that. Uh, That's the interesting. The man who uh, plays uh, Jeffrey Dahmer is called uh, is, is Ross Lynch, former Disney kin, mm. kid who is shedding that image uh, forever. Mm. Uh, the director is a former guest of ours, was a participant in a first-time director's competition about 10 years ago, so we're glad to have him back as well. But it's just a very powerful story about the, you know, the makings of a monster. It was written by one of his uh, best friends in high school, Durf Backdurf. It was a, a very strange name. That's that a, that's is his not name. his name. <laughs> it is really his name. Durf Backdurf. Durf Backdurf. Okay, that was uh, meant to be in a he, movie. But someday. he, um, it was this film is based on a graphic novel that was about their senior year at this high school uh, in the Northeast, where you could still you could start to see behind the scenes, you know, his, his mind becoming unhinged. And more and more dangerous. Sure. What other types of films will we see here? Um, <clears throat> a little bit of everything. Comedies, um, there are, there are dramas, hundreds, there are hundreds of short subjects, mm -hmm. uh, documentary and narrative short subjects. We have sanctioning from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, which means that the winners of uh, the top awards in the documentary and narrative short subject award juries. They get to automatically submit their films to the Oscar for consideration for Oscar award. Wow. Uh, we had one film in our past um, called West Bank Story. It was dueling falafel stands <laughs> in the style of West Side Story. And there was singing and dancing and chaos. Well, they were nominated as one of the best five live action films and won. Wow. And they got the opportunity to do that by the certificate yeah. that we gave them from winning. Wow. So how do we get a ticket? Who can go? Can we go see everything? Can, is it possible to see everything? Unless you're a time lord, I don't <laughs> think it's possible to literally see everything. But there's literally something for everybody and on any budget. There are over 60 free programs, including family programming, environmental programming, 
uh, part of our Race in America series. So anyone could go see any number of things for free. Other than that, as long as you have uh, $13 and can put your hand up to the to the table at the ticket window, uh, you can see anything you want. Wonderful. Well, I am so excited. I'm going to get out and see some of these films because I love films. Great. I love documentaries. That's a joke. My family, every time I start telling them anything, they're like, don't let, let us guess. You heard it in a documentary. <laughs> it's true. The St. Louis International Film Festival provides opportunities for St. Louis filmgoers to view the finest in world cinema. The festival is taking place November 2nd through the 12th at various locations in the metro area. For more information, visit cinemastlewis.org. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.